The Surge 2 can be challenging for sure. You can compare the gameplay and the structure with the Souls games, although not all the tactics will work here and others have to be used to get the best gear and take out the many enemies. In this video I will share a ton of tips and tricks to help you survive in the Surge 2. Thanks to Focus for sponsoring the video, it really helps the channel out. Totally check the game via the link in the pinned comments or the link in the video description. And now let's get into it. A really important part of the search is knowing where to hit the enemies. You don't only lock onto the target in the search too, but also select a body part that you want to hit. Early in the game the enemies will not have any armor, so it is the best to focus on the arms because then they will also drop their weapon that you can then pick up and use. But very soon after that you will notice enemies that have more armor and hitting those armor pieces will let you cut them off so you can then use them too. You do less damage though when hitting the armored pieces of the enemies and more when hitting the non-protected parts. But yeah, the reality is if you want the head of the enemy then you have to cut it off, so hit the armored parts. A nice tactic you can do though to already get a head start in the combat is first focus on the non-protected parts for a few hits and then quickly switch to the armor piece that you want and then go do damage until you can cut it off. If you switch when the enemy has a little more than half health, this tactic should work and then you only have to focus a little bit on the pieces that take less damage. You will encounter these revenge enemies as well that took out other players. The Search 2 is a single player game, but you have these connected elements when having an online connection that can give you some nice bonuses. Like here, when killing this revenge enemy, you get all the body parts on the level of that enemy without having to cut it off. So that's why versus these revenge enemies, it's smart to focus on the weak spots instead of the armor parts. I mean, you get these parts anyways. These enemies also have more health than your regular variants, so are a little tougher and when you die against them, you have no chance to kill them again. Regular enemies do respawn though every time you visit the Mad Bay where you upgrade items and your character, so use this to your advantage to farm them to get stronger before you continue to explore the world. There are gear sets in the search too that have special set bonuses when you wear all the six parts and you can easily get these parts by killing the enemies that are used. Them. So the first time you for example encounter the rank 2 enemies you want to cut off all the different parts so the head, the arms, the legs and the chest to be able to craft the full set. I think it's totally smart to farm the enemies close to a mad bay, get the parts, craft the armor set and then continue. These sets do not only increase your defense by a lot but also have awesome set bonuses like for example this rank 2 vulture gear makes it so that your finishing sequence does not cost a battery. And that's the blue bar under your stamina bar, so then you can use that to heal yourself up very often instead. Only crafting the gear pieces is not enough, upgrading it to the next rank will greatly enhance the power too. Level 1 enemies drop the upgrade material that is needed to get the item to rank 1, level 2 enemies can help you get the items to rank 2. And then you need rank 3 enemies to get to rank 3, etc, etc. Totally upgrade your gear to the current level of the enemies that you're fighting by cutting off the parts of the enemies that you need to upgrade. So even if you already have their helmet, just cut it off again so you can upgrade your own helmet to the next rank. A great place to upgrade pieces to rank 3 is by the way when you get to Port Nixon. Near the map bay in this area you namely find rank 3 enemies that are pretty easy to kill and combined to have armor pieces on every spot. So kill the guy that is sleeping here, focus on the parts that you need and then if you continue on you want to destroy the turrets in this small area first before you focus on this rank 3 enemy. That again isn't that hard. Just focus on the pieces that you want, then return to the mad bay. These enemies will respawn so you can do this tactic over and over again until you got your favorite armor set and weapons to rank 3. Yes, by the way, the same applies to weapons. See a cool weapon that an enemy is using, just focus on the arms to cut it off so you can use the weapon yourself. Farming close to the mad bay also works for the scrap that is needed to level up and to upgrade your equipment. So just farm Farm easy to kill enemies over and over, bang the scrap at the map bay and you can really upgrade your character a lot. You are by the way rewarded with more scrap if you 
kill more enemies after each other without going to a map bay but if you're having trouble in a certain part of the game and just want some great gear then this is a great way to do it instead so while you will be mostly fighting in this game it's very smart to talk to everyone you come across too they will sometimes have these quests for you that open up vendors that were otherwise locked for example or give you a special weapon type you mostly complete these quests nearby the quest giver and the neon icons that you find on the map will also help you sometimes to find the objective it's overall very good to pay attention to these tips for many secrets as well they can point you in directions or to loot that you could have missed otherwise and they also warn you of special enemies that are nearby so totally keep an eye out for these icons as they sometimes also warn you for npcs that cannot be trusted you will likely die a lot in the search too and when you die you will leave your collected scrap behind that you did not bank at the mad bay and then you got a limited time to get it back and every time you kill an enemy you get some extra seconds totally get it back obviously but when fighting some of the main bosses it's actually smart to just leave it on the ground because if you stand close to your sort of corpse then you get health back during the fight keep an eye on the timer because you do want to pick it up before the timer runs out and then you get all your health back too so totally use it when you are in need i hope these tips will help you out during your adventure through the search too totally subscribe for way more tips and tricks videos and thanks again Again to focus for sponsoring this video totally check the game out find the link in the pinned comments or in the video description it helps the channel out a lot too and for now i will speak to you next time goodbye